here with Keisha Johnson at the Palmanock Houses, and she has enough on her plate. She is a grandmother who is frustrated. She hasn't been able to cook for her grandkids in over a month. You know we're getting her answers, and we're making it happen. So what would you like to tell NYCHA? To cut my gas back on because I have health problems. Keisha Johnson says it's hard not to get emotional when she talks about her struggle to get answers from the city. You can't cook for your kids. No hot plate, no anything. They just left me with nothing. I'm eating out. Johnson lives here at the Pominock Houses in Queens. Her gas service went out on June 14th. Johnson says it's not just her, it's the entire sea line in her building. Con Edison confirms this, quote, on June 13th, Con Edison was contacted by NYCHA plumber to come to this address and shut off gas to the sea line. Since then, Con Edison has not received any follow-up request or filing from NYCHA to return and inspect the plumber's work. I'm stressed out. Johnson showed us her oven. It's not working. She also showed us her packed fridge with food that she can't cook and will eventually spoil. I can't cook my meat. Me, all we have to do is make waffles. Johnson says she doesn't even have a hot plate, and when she tries to get answers from the city, she gets the runaround. Johnson filed two complaints over the past month. I asked to speak to the housing manager. They said he's out at lunch. He's always out at lunch. Keisha is a fighter. She had a brain tumor last year and underwent surgery, survived, and is now thriving. She's tired of fighting the city, so she reached out to PIX11 News for some help and hope. NYCHA confirms there is currently a gas service interruption affecting seven apartments. Staff offers regular updates to residents on the gas restoration process, and NYCHA also distributes hot plates to residents and will reach out to residents like Johnson who don't have a hot plate. NYCHA also tells us that while we understand gas service interruptions are inconvenient, we also want to ensure residents' safety as we work to restore service as quickly as possible. And if you have a story, reach out to us on Facebook or Instagram at Monica Morales TV. We could be in your neighborhood next. At the Pominock Houses, Monica Morales, Pix 11 News.